So I haven't caught up much with the uh, Moist Critical Sneeko drama. I used to love Sneeko, but that man's gone off the deep end. But I thought he apologized or something like that, but apparently he didn't. Let's check out Willie Mack. He's done with Sneeko. However, he has formally responded, and I wanted to give him a fair shake. Once right. in video form, and again in a debate with Charlie. I want to be fair to Sneeko because he's been complaining that people aren't reacting to his side of the story, saying, Not one creator reacted to my response video. Not even the people I defended. And I actually agree. Sneeko's mm -hmm. biggest critics should respond. They haven't because it sucks. Sneeko, your video's terrible. But <laughs> hey, I'll respond out of respect. <laughs> I knocked James out with one punch. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he had an uncle sandwich for lunch. Sneeko opens Bro. up the video by Krispy trying to point out YouTube's hypocrisy with banning him what and the hell? critical. <laughs> Sneeko opens up the video by trying to point out YouTube's hypocrisy with banning I've never seen this before. Banning him and not critical. <laughs> However, it's just the most wild false equivalencies. What he's saying makes zero sense. These are three things that YouTube promotes on the trending page. Moist critical playing with and sitting on those. Moist critical using Satanism and Antichrist in his music videos. And his rampant gaming addiction. Three things you can't say on YouTube, but you could say on Rumble. The vaccine doesn't work. The 2020 election was against Trump. And billionaire pedophiles use wokeness to keep you depressed and poor. Sneeko, bro, how are you sure. comparing Charlie's comedy videos to conspiratorial misinformation? <laughs> They're not at all comparable. I'm insulting everyone's intelligence watching this just having to explain that. One is a joke and another is a politically sensitive topic that yeah. YouTube wants to avoid due to pressure from the media. Oh, I actually God. wish YouTube didn't ban people for conspiracy theories. I'm a free speech kind of guy, but comparing Charlie's dirty music to election fraud, it doesn't even make sense. This That's true, but... I don't know, uh, conspiracy theories, I, I think the, the funny ones are the ones that aren't really, you know, dangerous that anybody can do anything about, like the UFO ones, like those are fun conspiracies, alien stuff like that, Bigfoot, those are fun ones. You know, election fraud, uh, that could uh, possibly cause a whole bunch of anarchy. So This is the theme Let's for Sneeko's defense. He'll one. respond to criticism by pointing out a completely irrelevant issue and then act like it that somehow rush. proves them right. Sneeko then goes as far as to use the Nashville sure. shooting as a point against Charlie as if Charlie's videos have anything to do with it. He's playing with dildos in video games. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> this is the lie sold to keep you depressed. The world is out there for you to conquer as a man, but the 1% provide us with so many distractions to gatekeep it for themselves. I criticize Morse Critical because he makes millions of dollars selling that lie. For the young men watching, is that the life you want to live at 30 years old? Charlie has fun on the internet. You can have fun on the internet and have fun in real life. These two things are not separate. You can have fun doing both. I'm sitting here making videos for fun. I'm also here in Thailand, just like you were, well, in your videos, you were in Thailand. What is your point? I don't, I don't see it. The terrible tragedy that happened in Nashville yesterday is representative of exactly what I talk about in my stream. A trans person shot up a church and the mainstream news was more focused on misgendering the shooter than addressing the problem. I'm not even sure what he's trying to say. What? It's such an incoherent ramble. I think he's trying to tie Charlie that's playing a, with dildos. And that's a big leap. They're being trans people. I'm not really sure. That is Why are you using deal. that as a point? It's just so tone deaf and beyond disrespectful to the victim. Nico then goes on about how Japan is better because they don't support LGBT. In Japan, there is no wokeness. There is no LGBT trans nonsense. And, and Japan has a super huge suicide rate. Just because they're, they, they agree with your little political beliefs does not mean Japan is perfect. You're an idiot. A lot of people will look at America and be like, oh, man, I want to go to America. I think it's perfect. I talk to people that are in other countries. They're like, yeah, I want to go to America. I want to go to the U.S. I want to go to L.A. Yet you're in America and you say it's hell. It's literally the same thing. You go to Japan. Oh, this place is nice. You ask people that live there. They want to leave. Like, I don't understand this, this logic. This is literally dumb. Society is civilized. Somebody spills over their bag and everybody comes to help them out because they see each other as extended family. There's no culture war. Because they're all Japanese. America has everybody in it. Of course, not everybody's going to care. Just like I'm in Thailand, a lot of the time, if a foreigner tries to fight a Thai person, the other Thai people are going to jump in and beat the fuck out of the foreigner, even if it's the Thai person's fault. They're all the same. The doesn't make any sense, bro. America is one of the only countries that really have uh, a big mix of people that claim, hey, we are a big mix. Only a couple countries do that. Only a couple countries do that. This is not the same. 
There is a life outside of the woke degeneracy. And that's why I will continue to defend the movie Cuties until Moist Critical decides to debate me about it. I didn't edit it that way. What? He did. He just talks in run-on sentences. What does Japan not being woke have to do with cuties or yeah. not picking up things that are dropped? I don't know. It's a Sneeko video. It's Sneeko logic. He may be speaking English, but he ain't saying shit. He <laughs> goes on and on about how he loves the movie Cuties, ranting and defending points that nobody oh disagrees God, with. Bro. Nobody who hates the movie Cuties has seen it. It's about an Islamic family that moves from West Africa to France, a woke country that's literally on fire right now. And the daughter of the family gets corrupted by TikTok and starts dancing provocatively and leaves her Islamic values behind. She goes from a good Muslim girl to a degenerate wokey, lying, twerking, and fighting, and it blows up in her face and her family's disappointed and eventually she reverts back to Islam. I like that movie because I see it as another version of my life. Yes, I agree. You also act like an 11 year old girl. <laughs> Nobody is arguing that the movie's message like, is what makes it bad. It's not about the message, it's about how they were portraying it. Like they could have did this several different ways. They didn't have to have literal young girls twerking and wearing provocative clothing. They did not have to do that. I don't even feel like I should have to argue this point. It's the fact that they use real children to depict sexually suggestive content. He just ignores that part Facts. and goes on and on about Islam. Charlie has to repeat his point like 10 times before Sneeko actually addresses him. So, have you seen the movie? Yeah, I found it just to be completely repulsive. Haven't you seen a lot of other movies that have repulsed you before? I watch horror movies, I watch movies that are provocative quite a bit. Yeah, but there's a, this is something I, I feel isn't being recognized. You're gonna compare horror movies, people getting murdered to kids dancing provocatively and wearing sexual clothing? I think those are like two different tiers of uh, uh, things. Like, are they both wrong? Sure, definitely 100%, but um, more people would say having actual little girls dance provocatively on camera is worse than people fake dying in a film. I'm just saying. There's a difference between being repulsed by fiction, which is like horror movies, you know, yeah, that's not, not real, real, and being repulsed because there's real children doing sexual things. You can't exactly. fake that. The actresses were 11 to 13 years old. They were twerking. There was some very gross scenes in there, and like the cameras would zoom in on their chest and their ass and their crotch. Like... That's a very different kind of repulse. Duh, this has always been the argument. But watch Nico shift it to a completely irrelevant point, derailing the conversation. That movie was taken out of context quite a bit. And people don't really see the moral of the movie, which was defending Islamic values. That's and also pointing out the very real problem that young girls have going on social media and doing these dances. That's I agree that issue. it's disgusting. I agree that those scenes are repulsive, okay. but I think you could be repulsed by TikTok and pretty much what young girls are doing on social media every single day as well. Sneakers. Okay, but what does that have to do with the fact that the movie came out? Kids dancing on TikTok, I don't enjoy it, but they still have that freedom to do that since their parents apparently don't care enough to take the phone away. There's a difference between that and then it being put on a movie for possibly hundreds of thousands, if not millions to see. It was not uh, wrong. No, the, the little girl doing it on her own versus an adult making her do it to put it on there. Uh, it's not the same thing. For believing this. But he's also not addressing Charlie's point at all. He does this over and over again. Yeah, Sneeko knows he's wrong, so he's adapted the tactic of just talking for as long as possible, hoping Charlie forgets what he was saying. So I'm going to cut this conversation up a bit just to make it a little bit more tolerable. The Thank full you, video is on his rumble if you're interested. But trust me, you aren't missing a thing. I, I think that <laughs> people outrage at that film should also be outraged at everything that girls are doing now on Instagram, TikTok, and all these apps. It's not the same. It's not the same. Those little kids, they have the ability to choose what they want to do, whether they're in the right mind or not, they have that ability to do it versus an adult making them do it. It's not the same thing. Well, see, but here's the thing. So let's, let's break it down to the very bare essentials. Can children consent? Can children consent? No, they can't. We agree. So then so then why do you think it's excusable to exploit them after having them sign up for this film? If they, if you admit they can't consent, how can they possibly give the okay to be shaking their ass and having a camera all up in they their can. shit while they're doing sexual things? They like can't. that scene where she takes a picture of her vagina, the scene where they're doing- That's a scene in the, oh my God. Literal, like toying around with cam sites like what? that's very different Sneeko then there's dude there dude there's no way that's in the movie i'm not gonna verify it if that's really in the movie why is that on netflix i get the big message try and stay conservative 
It's the way you get there that's all the way screwed up. Why are they doing that? The dancing part, okay, I don't think that's right, but okay, dancing, whatever. Hers taking picture of her genitals and being on campsites, like, dancing provocatively was one red flag, and I thought that was the whole movie. Apparently, there are multiple, multiple red flags that I didn't even know about shifts the topic of the conversation again and goes on another random tangent about the message of the film instead of actually engaging with Charlie's point. Like, no one is disputing the message, right? It's well, a message. I, I agree with the intention of the movie. I don't think that yeah. those scenes are good. That's what we completely agree on. But I think that that was an important movie to point out how many people get sucked into this world. I think I think that was needed. That movie was needed, needed to is, be made. We know that is a big fucking sidestep, homie. That is a big sidestep. He, you didn't even address the fact that they can't even consent. All you're talking about is the movie's message, the movie's message. Oh, you've said Bro. this like three times already. There's an old clip of Sneeko from back when he was a bit more self-reflective that perfectly describes how he talks to people. When people speak to me, I don't listen. I just wait for my own turn to speak. He's clearly doing oh, it that. Sense. Charlie has to reiterate, and I counted eight times before Sneeko finally responds to his point. Since it still used real children to symbolize them to showcase it, that's the issue. You didn't I don't need think it to it be children. I don't think it contributes to it because That's when true, you, you see girls doing children. this on TikTok, they don't know. I don't see girls doing it. it on TikTok, though, is the thing, right? The only people that would are going to be the. Oh, they're going to look for it. They would go and search that out. They're this movie was advertised on Netflix. No, that's with not true. Every time I, I don't have TikTok on my phone, but once in a while before I was banned, I would go on there. And the first three videos would be the same thing that you see on Cuties. Yeah, it's algorithmically uh, based. It shows videos based uh, on your preferences. You're telling on yourself, bro. Yeah, Under no circumstances good, should children be sexualized is where I stand. Do you disagree? I agree. I agree. Bro, come on, this is so easy. That's an easy There's a lot of things in movies, like I don't agree with incest in Star Wars, but Star Wars has incest scenes. I don't agree but that's with not incest, but that's, that's not cuties. Trait. We're it's not, not talking about Star Wars, we're talking about cuties right now. Real incest though, this is real children being s***ed. It's not fake, these are I mean, 11. Yeah, Star Wars ain't even the same. Princess Leia and Luke, they're not related in real life. They're two different people. Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher are two different people. Agree. I agree, agree. But I'm defending the point of the movie. You can defend the and point I, of the not, movie, well, not, but you can still condemn the, the movie itself. The point can stand on its own two feet, right? Like, there is a problem, which you recognize, with kids being sexualized in specific on TikTok. That is a problem in and of itself. But you can still condemn this film for contributing to the thing it's supposed to speak out against, which is sexualizing right. children, 100%. which you have admitted it does. And it didn't need to, like you said. That is yeah, the so problem. Maybe they shouldn't Check have used child Check actors. Me. Holy shit, now is that so hard? Charlie deserves a Medal of Honor, because I wouldn't have had the patience for this. It's like talking to a child. 95 Bro. IQ, he needs to retake that because he scored <laughs> too high. I made out with so many girls. <laughs> he scored too high. I made out with, with every girl in the world. world. A large majority of the video Classic. is just Sneeko Coke. It doesn't really address anything bar, that anyone says. It's mostly just him making up reasons for why he thinks people hate him. There is a clear pattern with the people that hate me. I don't say it to be cocky, but I am tall, I'm good looking, and I'm successful. You what look like a lesbian. You literally <laughs> copied Andrew Tate's haircut. This is why the number one criticism is wannabe alpha male Sneeko. Whoa, this alpha male. Well, you say it yourself, bro. You said it several times in your own streams. It's rooted in jealousy and the idea that masculinity is a bad thing. I don't think I'm an Masculine alpha male. You're not. not. Where are all these mystery people <laughs> hating on Sneeko because he's tall? I see people hating on you because you're a bully, because you're a hypocrite, because you're a weak little worm. You went after True. Charlie's girlfriend, told True. your audience to dig up dirt on Preach's wife, True. falsely accused Brandon Buckingham of being a rapist, and True. still deny it to this day. You made claims of Brandon Buckingham being like a rapist and, and shit. Them, Wouldn't that be court? something that you'd want to fight about at that point? Like, that I, was I, not a claim that I made. That was not a claim that I'm. Bro, literally said, I'm gonna R word your girlfriend. Uh, literally that sounds said that. like I'm This dude said he is going to R word my girlfriend. Bro, yeah. nothing warrants saying I'm gonna R word your girlfriend. That's some school sh vibes, bro. Literally, word for word, I'm going bar to R word your girlfriend. I never said that about him, and that's a lie. The reason people hate you is because you don't practice what you preach. You're fake. You talk about masculinity, but you haven't manned up to a damn thing. Get him, Willie. Promote the ideas of masculinity because it is so desperately oh, needed right now. A real man takes accountability for when he Facts. fucks up. Facts, you have yet 100%. to do that. You blame it on being a man is not easy, man. That shit is so difficult, and you just gotta swallow your pride and deal with it. That's part of it. Everyone but yourself. So no, it's not because you're tall. In fact, I think you got a lot of growing up to do before you tell anybody how to act like a man. Liberal or Republican? Well, if you pick a side, then you're done.
You want Trump to grab your pussy or Bill Clinton to cover you in cum? Nico just what says a lot of shit where it's like, oh, what do you mean by that? The powers of Satan are taking over the West in oh real time. Oh my God, he sounds like one of those people. You're looking on Instagram, you see a funny video, you scroll down. The Lord is coming, blah, 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 repent. And then you see people comment below, amen, amen. Like, shut the fuck up. You guys are all just scrolling on Instagram. Congratulations, just spreading the good word, I guess. But you're not really doing shit because people are just going to scroll past it. Except for other people that are like-minded like you, they're going to comment, amen. Same thing with those people on Facebook back in the day. Oh, press like to send a prayer to Africa. Oh, press like for homeless people. Oh, and then you see people commenting, oh, Lord, please help them. Like, cool, thanks for the prayers, but where's the actual money? I need actual help out here. And I hope that everyone watching doesn't contribute to it anymore. It's like, man, can you elaborate just a little what? bit more? He just drops that line and ends the video as if anyone knows what he's talking about. Maybe it's about meta PC and using Code Willy on your pre-built gaming computer. Why would I say want a pre-game, a pre-built gaming computer. Build that shit from scratch. Simple amount of time. Unironically defending himself for being a cuck. First, he lies and says that he hasn't done it in three years. It's Bro. okay to be a cuck if you want to be a cuck. It's not for me. It's not for other people, but it is for some people. If that's what you're into. That's what you're into. I don't say shit when people like you see uh, a beautiful woman and you look in her comment section and says, oh, let me see your feet. Let me smell your feet. You're just like, OK, they're in the feet. Whatever. They're weird. Fucking move on. It's not a big deal. In my eyes, it's not a big deal. I don't really care. There's several different kinks all across the world. One of them is going to be something that you don't particularly think is OK. It just happens. Um, three years ago, when I was 21 years old, I went to a swinger party with one of my girlfriends and joked about how traumatizing it was on a podcast. It wasn't three years it ago. It was joke. barely over one year ago. He did it days before going on this podcast. We've been to like four of these Damn parties my. now, and I've never felt the urge to like fucking another bitch. I've been to like, we've been, to, we went to two that night, and then we went to two like two nights ago. And that's, dude, that's you. If that's what you want, that's what you want. The issue is he's lying about it. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into, bro. It is what it is. Because, okay, the second time, which is two days ago, like, it wasn't as bad. This video is barely over a year old. It just shows how insecure you are about it. Sneeko, nobody actually cares what you do in your free time. You were bullying people, so they decide to bully you back. Remember? Bring bullying back. Bring bullying back. Bullying is necessary. Sneeko then says that it's all our fault that he watched his girlfriend get pounded by another man. What? In a twist of fate, he blames us for his cucking. Don't recommend it. And seeing how many people call me a cuck for what I thought was a funny story, you should probably not do the same. I tried the lifestyle that the woke mind virus pushes and it ends up being what the woke YouTubers try to shame me for. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. It <laughs> Bro. When people make fun of you, that does not mean they're woke. It just means they're making fun of you. Some people make fun of you because they don't like you. Some people make fun of you because they like you. You don't know who's making fun of you for what reason, unless they outright state that they don't like you. <laughs> it's not ironic. I don't even think he knows what that word means. Like, who is telling you to get cucked? Don't put that on us. He's literally schizoing out. In fact, if I remember well, correctly, Sneeko really was the one trying to indoctrinate people into the cuck life. But I think it's something oh, yeah, everybody true. should do yeah, just to test. Oh! I know. You know what? Don't ever take no sexual advice from somebody unless you're already thinking about doing that shit. Same thing with anything. Don't if somebody comes up to you, hey man, you want to try some cocaine? If you were not thinking about doing cocaine ever, don't just be like, oh yeah, sure, let's try it. Yeah. You only live once. Like, no, fucking be an adult. Think about the shit. Before you do something, think about it, bro. That's it. You know what? No! I, I, he can't even take accountability for <laughs> no! going to these sex parties. It's always the mystical woke boogeyman's fault. The Matrix made me a cuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Another annoying thing is that Sneeko acts like Andrew Tate was found innocent because he was released from jail. What do you think all the people that were saying that they're guilty all this time now that they're free, are they going to backpedal the positions? Are they going to apologize? It's pretty funny seeing the fact that they were calling him a trafficker for four months straight, and now they've been proven wrong by a judge. It's actually hilarious, Sneeko, because I was just talking about that. Nobody has been proven wrong. They're just placed under house arrest until the investigation is over and the charges have been filed. The mm. judge didn't clear the tates of anything. People are so quick to well, say that he's innocent or that he's it. guilty. He's not but in reality, guilty. nobody yeah, knows wait. anything. Just wait until the right. investigation is complete. Stop. Nobody ever wants to fucking wait, bro. Every time some, something goes down, Everybody jumps on it, this and that, this and that. Trump gets, uh, Trump is going to the courthouse. Oh, Trump's arrested. It's like, no, he still has to face due process. People have to 
wait. I, I'm a firm believe, believer of innocent until proven guilty. And a lot of people don't like that shit. Whenever something like on Instagram, like, oh, it shows a video of a guy and he, um, he he's hitting his girlfriend. Like, we didn't see the full video. We don't know if he's actually abusing her or this is self-defense or something. If it was rigged, nobody knows. Nobody knows. At point face value, it looks like something when it could be completely something else. And until we go to the courtroom and we see all the evidence and we get a conviction, they're still innocent until proven guilty. Even with Amber Heard. And they're like, man, she got all this shit against her. Oh, my God. Amber Heard. Oh, my God. Ain't no way, bro. She's got to be found guilty. If she was found innocent, it fucking sucks. But she's found innocent. But she was found guilty. But, I mean, she didn't get no jail time. All she got was, like, some fucking fine, which I'm pretty sure Johnny helped pay off anyway. Not being a sheep of the I other think it was herd. more clearing his name than getting her arrested. Sneeko then ends the video by saying he forgives us. I'm officially retiring the soy boy image. I forgive everybody who advocated for my cancellation or made documentaries about me. Bro, you can't just do that. You can't the lie for 10 I. minutes straight and then end the video with, hey guys, I'm the bigger person. I forgive <laughs> you. What kind of new gaslighting tactic is this? Is Sneeko, nobody's asking the for your forgiveness. Oh, he caught me. He caught me. Shut the fuck. The fuck. Uh. So is there anything I could give Sneeko props for? Yes, he did apologize for one thing, and that was going after Charlie's girl. And I apologize to Moist Critical for showing a picture on stream of you and your girlfriend. That was not very Christ-like. I'm sorry. Hey, admit- <sighs> I mean, I get the apology, bro. Not very Christ-like. Nobody's gonna ever- Like, I don't even believe in stuff like that, but nobody could ever hold themselves to accountability of Christ. Like, that's literally someone that's perfect, and humans by nature are not perfect. You can never, ever be like, yeah, that's not Christ-like of me. Like, you will never be perfectly Christ-like. Even though I don't believe in it, it's just the, the mental image of a perfect being. You will never, ever live up to that. All you can say is, I messed up. I'll try not to do it again. That's all you can say and all you can try to do. Yeah. Admitting when you're wrong online is hard, and he did do it for that one thing, so uh, props, I guess. I mean, he's still promoting crazy 9-11 conspiracies and thinks Jews are behind everything, but it's Jeez. a start. This has now been my fourth video on the red pill, and I have to say it is a much bigger rabbit hole than I expected. I have Surprise. one last big video planned on Fresh and Fit, as well oh, as Pearl, before I loop back to talking about Hassan. So oh, subscribe to the channel, because this is going to be good. And oh, shout out to the homies over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Zombie Fox, Riveter, Christina. Yeah, man, shout out to Willie Mac. He does do a great job and he puts himself in a line of fire all the time but i haven't really seen anything like anybody ever come excuse me come at willie like just, that sounds weird come at willie but yeah they nobody's ever really gone at him at least from what i've seen so congratulations willie uh keep up the good investigate uh, investigative journalism same with turkey tom you guys are doing amazing work that takes a lot of time a lot of effort i respect it and yeah everybody else be safe enjoy your day and i'll see you guys next time peace